Hey, Hardwood fans. Pat Moore, your online host, hanging out here with Ian McConville on the desk, breaking down a tough loss for FedHawk where they fell to Waterford by a score of 54 to 47. Ian, you were at the game. Uh, what was the biggest problem for the Lancers? Well, tonight the Lancers really struggled early on with Waterford's full, full court press. They uh, they were unable to really get any consistency going. The speed of the of the Wildcat defense was really forcing them to uh, take some early jumpers that they didn't like and struggling to get up court, which really gave them some trouble um, setting up their offense into the style that they'd like. So it was definitely a tough night on offense for uh, the Lancers. But in this game, who shined? Who was the, the bright spot? Well, if you're... If you're watching this from Waterford, take notice of Tate Lang. This kid is unreal. He was able to single-handedly, for the most part, take out some of the big bodies that Federal Hawking has down low and was offensively one of their biggest weapons, including a monster dunk tonight. He was one of the biggest keys for their success tonight against Federal Hawking. Always a fun time when uh, win or lose when there's a dunk in the game, and as a, as a fan. but. Where does Fed Hawk go from here and when they, how do they pick up the pieces? Well, my, my biggest suggestion for them would probably be that they need to start working the ball down low a little more. They need to really start trying to push the ball into the post and then kick it back out for some jump shots or do a nice little post move, take it up strong for a layup. It would definitely help open up their offense a little more, break out that zone that they've been seeing a lot and just help them along in their process of trying to get back on the winning ways. All right, well, it looks like there's lots of things that the Lancers can improve on moving forward. Well, uh, be sure to check in on our website for recaps like tonight's at our website, woub.org slash heroes, and also catch our show at 6.30 on Sundays on WOUB2. Well, that's it for Ian and I, but remember, be heroic.